you could eat anything and there was no way. That's just ridiculous. I don't know. I don't know how you could ever get that from the biblical text. Uh, so whoever, wherever this comes from, I'd say the source for that is he's sucking it out of his thumb. You know, if, if it's something to do with death, you know, because of waste, death, maybe it, maybe it's linked to Romans 5 or something. And maybe he's equating death of, of plants because you know, they're only eating plants in the beginning. Is he equating death of plants with waste? Well, why would you do that? You know, why, why would you equate death of plants with, with, with waste and say it's bad? What else are they supposed to eat? Okay, and, and, and how would you get from Romans 5 this idea that you don't need to expel anything? Isn't that the way the body is supposed to work? Uh, I, you know, I, I don't. Let me let me look, go at it this way. Here's here's why I'm, I'm I'm on this trajectory. It is New Age theosophical occult mythology to think that Adam was more than human. He's human. If Adam's in the garden and him and Eve are making breakfast, and an elephant you know starts trotting through the camp, okay, and he trips and he falls on Adam, when he rolls over, Adam isn't going to get up and say. Well, boy, I'm glad that's over. That tickled. No, he's crushed. Okay, he's a normal human being. The fact that he hasn't fallen yet is not going to prevent him from being crushed by an elephant that falls on him. If he cuts himself, guess what's going to happen? He'll bleed. If he cuts himself badly enough, guess what's going to happen? He'll lose enough blood that he'll die. Okay, Adam is not a a, a more than a, he's not an ubermensch okay he's not this superman that you know he if he, he's impervious to pain or harm or anything like that now we know that didn't happen because of the circumstances of the garden but the point is that we 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 turn adam into some sort of alien you know some sort of non-human or more than human thing. He's just human. And this is the way occultists talk about biblical characters. I mean, honestly, they do. And I, I you know, you know, if, if this comes from, you know, some quote unquote, you know, famous or reliable source, whatever, that is I mean, that's exactly the way that Adam gets talked about. These bizarre theories about Adam and Eve and whatnot, that they they were they were human, but they really weren't human. No, I'm sorry. They were human. That's what they were. Adam was no more transcendent of humanity than Jesus was. Jesus was 100% man, not 100% man, another 50% of something else added on to it, plus God. You know, it, 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 he's human. He's the second to Adam. He could die. He could bleed. Okay, Adam was not superior to Christ in his humanity. I'm sorry, but he wasn't. And it's this kind of talk that I think really potentially you know, can, can mislead people into sort of mixing these kinds of, and I'll, I'll use the word again, occult ideas uh, in their theology. So that, that's what I think of it. <laughs> Just off the top of my head. Well, uh, I think Mike, it's nonsense. Mike, the real question is, did Adam use toilet paper? I mean, let's get serious here. We need to know <laughs> the details, if you don't mind. What went oh, on I'm, back sure he, I'm sure he didn't need it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. I'm sure he never he never made him he never had to it, clean himself. It, it just there's so many of jokes course. in there. Very hard for yeah. me to refrain right now. He Re probably never never perspired. You it's know, very... and even if he did, he wouldn't have needed deodorant because that would have he would have smelled 